Hello Space Engineers community, here's Pennywise and uh, I want to show you an interesting implementation of uh, get free destination function which is a part of my remote control interface. This function uh, is presumed to be used for collision avoidance uh, in autopilot programs but it also can be used for other purposes. At first it can be used for measuring the distance to an obstacle blocking our way, but I also believe that I will manage to use it as a long-range lock-on. Let's look at this. It's not me now crosshairing this uh, commercial freighter, it's crosshaired by script, running in my uh, test ship. Here I can see uh, a distance to crosshair target, also to values, uh, to service values uh, use it for tracking. I can exit cockpit while my ship still keeps lock on target. Okay, let's check the lock is still on. You can see my ship slightly turning while keeping its crosshair on target. Let's temporarily switch off gyroscope for a moment. Now switch it on, and you see, our crosshair returns to target. Well, I must confess that this uh, lock-on function is uh, not always as good as on this test video with commercial freighter. Sometimes it is very unreliable, and it depends mostly on uh, the shape of ship projection, on its velocity and distance to target. But I believe it can be improved and finally can be used in combination with torpedoes or gravity cannons. The principle of this lock-on is very primitive at this moment, and uh, as I said previously, it's based on get free destination function of my remote control interface. My remote control costs five vectors to target. The first one is pointed uh, directly to target, and is used for measuring distance and uh, also for checking the lock is still on. Four other vectors are directed to each side of the target, 50 meters away from the center, up, down, left and right. I check these four vectors with get free destination function and then get an angle between uh, original vector and vector returned by a function for each side of the target. If the crosshair is placed in the geometrical uh, center of ship projection, the angles between original and free vector for left and for right side should be equal, and the same for uh, up and down vectors. And then we can use uh, any deviation from that rule as an input signal for gyroscope override. So that's how it works. I would sell this idea to space pirates if they would pay me in gold coin. But since they don't want to pay and only trying to kill me, I'm giving this idea to my fellow engineers for free. Hope you will find a good use for that.